Where to start learning video editing? What techniques to use? Where to look for references? What editing program to choose? How not to waste time on things? In today's video, you'll find the most detailed step-by-step -step guide on how to learn video editing in 2024. My name is Arthur and this is Mobile Vlog, so let's get cracking. And the very first thing you need to decide on is, of course, the editing software. You can start with programs with a super simple interface such as iMovie for Mac users or Windows Movie Maker for or Windows users. Later, when you understand the basics, you can move on to more advanced programs. There are many options on the market. Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro, DaVinci, Vegas, or Mobavi. You can argue for a long time about the pros and cons of each of these apps and which software is more versatile and convenient, but I believe that if you are a beginner editor, you have to consider two things. First, the app you choose should have enough training materials or guides online for you to learn from. These can be videos on YouTube, tutorials and articles on forums or Reddit, something like that. It's also great when the program has a large community that can help you out. You're watching this video on Mobavi vlog channel, this is the best place to find answers of Mobavi video editor. You can ask questions in the comments under our videos or in the community section and someone from either our team or channel members will surely respond. And the second thing you need to consider when choosing the video editing app, any app in fact has more or less a similar set of tools. And in order to learn how to use them, you need to devote some time to it. If you learn the basics and how different editing tools work, you will be able to edit amazing videos in any app, I can vouch for that. The next part will be short, but I think it is important to cover hardware. What is the best computer setup for video editing? In fact, when you are just learning to edit and you have relatively simple source files and tasks, any semi-modern laptop will do just fine. But if you can, I would recommend getting an additional screen. The larger, the better. Learning video editing takes a lot of time and believe me, looking at a tiny laptop screen all this time won't do your eyesight any good. And the learning experience itself will be quite miserable. You don't want that. A big screen is a must here so that all buttons and timeline elements would be visible without zooming in or squinting. It also comes down to the app interface. Some video editors have a more user-friendly interface with big buttons, and that's where we should talk about Movavi Unlimited. Movavi Unlimited is an all-in-one solution that's got everything you need. If you've been struggling with large, unwieldy footage shot on your phone, Movavi has you covered. With its easy-to-use tools, you can effortlessly convert your footage into a more manageable format and even enhance its quality by up to eight times. Movavi Unlimited also includes includes a powerful photo editor that lets you get creative with video thumbnails. You can crop, resize, apply filters and add text, stickers and frames to your images, creating stunning visuals that will captivate your audience. So if you're tired of the struggles that come with video editing and you're looking for effortless and impressive results, I highly recommend giving Movavi Unlimited a try. And now get ready to have your mind blown, folks. Movavi's got a deal that's too good to pass up, an 80% discount on all the apps in an amazing Movavi Unlimited plan. That's right, you heard me, 80% off, so don't wait, hit the link and get yourself the ultimate video editing and production experience at a price you won't believe. Trust me, this is one offer you don't want to miss. The best way to learn video editing is through practice. I'd advise you to choose the simplest project you can think of, like merging a few clips with some background music. If you do not have your own ideas, but you want to practice video editing, I recommend using free videos from stock websites. For example, on the Paxel website, you can enter something like family or training in the search bar. It will give you several thousand professional videos, both vertical and horizontal ones. Just pick some and download them. Then try to make something with that. Add some music, maybe even record a voiceover. Learn how to trim videos, stitch them together, how to use different types of transitions, add music and overlay a voice track, see what buttons there are, what keyboard shortcuts the app offers and so on. Do not try to figure out everything at once. Take it easy. It can take weeks and months to become a pro, so don't set yourself impossible tasks that you won't be able to finish. As you learn, you will be faced with new challenges like adding text and animating it, creating a slow-mo video and so on. Deal with them as they come. 
Be sure to watch educational videos to understand certain tools and features better. Like on this channel, for example, we have a special playlist with different editing tricks that you can use for inspiration and ideas. In those videos, we go over each tool available in detail and not only explain, but also show how it works and what type of effects you can use. I will leave a link to the playlist in the description or in the pinned comment, so be sure to check it out. Now, in order for your video to be logical and interesting, it is important to understand the key principles of video editing. Picking the right footage and putting everything together at the right pace and in the correct order. This of course comes with experience, but there are three principles that a beginner should keep in mind. One rule of thirds. Divide the shot into nine equal parts using two horizontal and two vertical lines. The easiest way is to just overlay a grid on top of your videos, then place the objects in the shot along the lines or at their intersections. This makes the composition more balanced and visually pleasing. Two, the law of motion. This one means that the movement on the screen should have a natural flow and be easily perceived by the viewer. The shots must change in a logical order without sudden jumps or switches, maintaining continuity. Also, if something moves in your shots, the trajectory and direction of this movement must continue in the same direction in the next shots. We have a video about this, so be sure to watch it too. And three, the contrast. Here I'm talking about all types of contrast, visual contrast, contrast in rhythm, or contrast in content. For example, you can create contrast between light and dark shots to attract the viewer's attention, or between fast and slow movements to emphasize certain bits in the video. Be sure to consider these three things when editing. The last step is creating a mental database. I mean knowing a lot of different tricks and effects, ready for action. It's a pretty obvious thing, but it is really important if you are serious about learning video editing. And here I want to mention two things. First, it is very important to watch similar videos to the ones you're making. So if you plan to edit cooking videos, sports videos, gaming videos, or personal vlogs, then you need to watch a lot of similar videos. Second, it's important to also watch other videos and movies. Don't be afraid to watch movies by great directors, videos by your favorite bloggers, or even super niche videos on YouTube that are not related to your interests. Don't forget that sometimes great videos are born when different genres collide, creating something exciting and new in the process. Try to notice interesting things and tricks and try to replicate them in your videos. These can be some unusual effects or transitions, the way text appears on the screen, a specific color grading, or even an unusual font. You don't have to try to repeat the entire video. Focus on the specific small things that you liked and keep developing your eye for editing. Don't be afraid to borrow and repeat. You are learning and that is what you need to do. Video editing, just like any art, requires practice and patience. So don't be too hard on yourself at first. The more you practice, the better you will become. Try to always grow and develop new skills and gradually you will get your hands on things. You will grow a powerful portfolio and become a master editor. I'm telling you, you can do it. Wish you luck. Thanks for watching and see you soon.